Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video. A short one today as I want to go through three very surprising facts about IGCSE and A-level Cambridge Grey Boundaries that you may not know. Number one, the first thing to talk about, and I think this is really surprising, is there actually is no A-star Grey Boundary. So then you're probably thinking to yourself, if there's no A star grey boundary, how do they actually calculate it? Well, they take the specific papers that you have done, whether it's IGCSE or A level, they put those marks together where there are A, B, C grey boundaries. And then if you get beyond a certain mark over those two, three papers, then they will give you the A star. I've always found that really, really weird because most grey boundaries usually have an A star element to it, but can Cambridge is very different with that. Number two is very specific to AS level maths. And what Cambridge will do is they'll actually change the component marks to make sure it's fair across the three main time zones, which I thought was strange considering they don't do that for IGCSE, but they make these small adjustments for AS level maths. Number three is if you take grey boundaries overall at Cambridge, it is quite a complex and intricate process. And it's so complicated and so intricate, Cambridge even made a video about it to explain it to us. Now, I'll link that video down in the description below so you can see it at your leisure and go through exactly how they calculate the grey boundaries overall. So are you surprised that there wasn't actually an A star grey boundary? Again, let me know in the comments below, because when I saw that initially, I was very, very surprised they couldn't just give you a fair A star grey boundary. And it depends again from year to year and cohort to cohort. Again, if you want any more information on grey boundaries, particularly IGCSE ones, then check out the video right here. because I spend quite a lot of time breaking down the last few years of grey boundaries and helping you predict what you could get on your exam.